Let me show you how to set up a subathon timer overlay for your Kick, Twitch, YouTube, or even multi streams. We'll be using a tool called Botrix, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. Once we're on this page, we're going to log in with one of these four options. It'll bring you to the profile tab, and we're going to scroll down until we see sign in with Kick. So we're going to click sign in with Kick. We're going to put in our Kick username. In this instance, I'm using a burner account. Then I'm going to click accept. Now we're going to have to mod Botrix. So we're going to click on the continue button. It'll bring us to our moderators page on our creator dashboard. So if you don't know how to get here, just go to your kick page, go to the top right, go to creator dashboard, and then we go to community and then moderators. Then we can click add new and we can type in Botrix and then you're going to see it with a little green check mark. So click on that and then we're going to click add. Now we can go back to Botrix. It'll bring up this little box here and we're just going to copy this and we're going to right click and copy and we're going to go to this link right here. So we're going to click this link and not the finished button. It's going to bring us to the Botrix chat room. And if you don't see this Botrix chat room, then just go to this URL right here and just type that in your browser. And once you're in Botrix's chat room, we're just going to paste in this link message that we copied. We're going to send it by clicking chat or hitting enter. Give it a couple seconds. Now it says that your account has been successfully linked. So let's go back to Botrix and now we can click finished. But real quick, let me show you some pretty pictures from today's sponsor. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can follow along at home. But own.tv is my favorite place to get everything related for my stream design. If you actually go to the top, you can go to stream overlay packages. They got it for Twitch, Kick, and YouTube. I'm going to click Kick. You can scroll down and see all these different packages like the Enchanted series. And then you can preview everything that comes in this package. They got webcam overlays, just chatting scene, gameplay scene, starting soon screen, ending screen, and pretty much everything you're going to need for your stream design. So I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to make your stream look way more professional with zero effort. So now that we've set up our Botrix profile correctly. This is what the profile tab looks like. And this is where we're going to connect all of our accounts we want to use. So if we're multi-streaming and we want to have a subathon for our Twitch account, our YouTube and kick, then you're going to link all of your different accounts right here. This is completely optional. If you just want to use it for one platform, that's entirely okay. Once you've connected all of the accounts you want to use, we can go to the left hand side and click on widgets and you can avert your delicious eyes to the subathon tab right here. But you can see it is a different color because at the time of recording this video, this is an experimental feature, which means it's only available to the premium users, which is literally the price of half a kick sub. But once it comes out to the public, it should be free for all Botrix users. So we're going to click on the subathon button. This part is a little bit confusing, so make sure to pay attention. But the initial duration, this is going to be how long the timer is going to start at at the very beginning. So right now we have to set it to whatever time it is. It is 332 Pacific. If I set it to 335, that means there's two minutes left in the timer. So usually you want to start your timer with about an hour or two of leeway just to make sure your stream gets going and you have some viewers filtering in just to get the subathon start. So usually with the subathon, I like to leave about an hour or two just to give it for free. So you can set the time here, but keep in mind, this is the preview and the actual remaining hours won't be shown, but this is just to get the clock started and adjust that initial starting time. Right now, there's only three patterns. Hopefully they'll add more. They got this one, which looks okay. They got this one, which is probably my favorite. And then they have the transparent, which is probably what most people are going to be using for the text color. You can change the color. Obviously, we like that kick green, which is somewhere around here, less like a booger and more like a neon. That's about close enough. So this is the cool part. We have our Twitch, YouTube and kick. So if we do Twitch, you can change how many seconds are added per bit, per sub and per follow. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to do a follow a thon, but I'm sure some of you do want to do a follow a thon and that's totally fine. But you can just go and individually change this. So if a new follower adds, then that means it adds zero to the timer because it's zero. If I get a new sub, it's going to add 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. And you can feel free to adjust these numbers as you please. Now, if you don't have a Twitch account linked and you're just using it for kick or YouTube, or you're just streaming on one, then these other categories don't even matter. So don't freak out if you have numbers in there. If you're only streaming on kick or if you're only streaming on Twitch, don't worry about it. So you can go and adjust the individual settings for each of these categories. If you're multi streaming, otherwise just go to the one that you're streaming under as you can just change those. Though, if you do notice and you're multi streaming for a multi subathon, then if you change a sub for let's say one sub is 60 seconds, it's going to change that for all of them for members on YouTube and Twitch subs as well, which I think is kind of dumb. But like I said, it's still in the experimental feature. So hopefully they'll add more customization and able to change that in the future. But for example, let's say we're doing a kick subathon. So let's just say every kick sub that I get, it's going to add, I don't know, let's say five minutes. So I'm going to do 300 seconds, which I think is five minutes, right? I ain't that good at math. And then since I'm a greedy SOB, 
I'm gonna leave followers at zero. So a simple kick subathon would be 300 seconds per sub, zero per follower, and then you would have your timer here, but they also have a PayPal option. So if you wanna have PayPal donations count too, then you'll have to go back to your profile tab, and then you'll go to the donations tab right here and click this little pencil icon. You're gonna put in your PayPal address for your PayPal email. If you don't already have a PayPal account, watch the video in the top right corner. But if you already have a PayPal account, put in your PayPal email right here. You can set that up, you can confirm it, and then you're gonna give this donation link to the people in your subathon. So if we go to this donation link, I'll open it in a new tab, it's going to look like this. And when they donate a dollar, then we can change how many seconds it adds to our subathon timer per dollar. But they have to send it through this donation page so Botrix can track the donations. So if we go back to the widgets tab, go to the subathon tab, then we can go back and change things. So I'm gonna go to transparent, I'm gonna change this to, let's say, just give ourselves about an hour or so. About 56 minutes, sure, that's fine. You can also go in and change the minutes too if you wanna get really anal about it. But I'll go back down to kick. I'm gonna make sure that this says 300 and then zero. And then since our PayPal's added, for every dollar, let's say it adds a minute, so like 60 seconds. Now you can feel free to change these whatever you want. Every streamer situation is gonna be different. So once you have everything to your little heart's desire, you can click save settings, click yes. This is editing Cody real quick, forgot to mention. If you want to make changes during your subathon, please keep this tab open. Do not close it, do not refresh it, because if you refresh it, it's gonna leave all the settings back to default. So let's say a sub didn't count, or if you wanted to add an hour for whatever reason, then you're gonna wanna keep this page and this tab open. You can keep it minimized, just don't close it and don't refresh it and you'll be good to go. And while you're here, if you want more helpful streaming guides from myself, then make sure to drop a like on the video so YouTube recommends more of me to you. But let's get back to the video. So now we have all of our settings saved. We're gonna copy this timer URL, this little widget URL. Now we're gonna go into our streaming software. You can use OBS Studio, Streamlabs, literally whatever your little heart desires. You can go down to your sources. We're gonna add a new source, add a new browser source. Call this one Subathon. Click OK. We're going to paste in the URL that we just got. Click OK. And now you can see we have our Subathon timer here, but the box is huge, so we can hold down the Alt key and then we can click and drag and crop it just a little bit so it's not as obnoxious to work with. And you can drag it on your screen to where you'd like. Now, if you're making changes, so for example, you want to add more time, I'm going to go to the timer. I'm going to add an hour. Let's say I want to change it to, I don't know, this pattern as well. Then I'm going to click Save Settings, click Yes. I'm going to go back to OBS. Now you're like, dude, Cody, what the heck just happened? Why is it not changed? Well, my friend, calm down. Take a deep breath. We're going to double click on Subathon. We're going to scroll down, and this also works for Streamlabs, and go to Refresh Cache of Current Page. We're going to click that button give it a second, and now we have our updated changes that have just been saved. But keep in mind, this is an experimental feature, so keep an eye on the pinned comment down below for any changes, and watch this playlist to the side of me to level up your stream. My name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.